have learned how to solve system of linear equation by using inverse matrix from a joint method. Now we are going to discuss about using inverse matrix obtained from property of AB equals to KI. Uh, now look at example 1. Given matrix A and matrix B, find the matrix AB and A inverse and solve the following linear equation. First, find matrix A, B with multiply matrix A and matrix B. And then we get the answer of matrix with the element 16, 0, 0 for the first row and then 0, 16, 0 for the second row, 0, 0, 16 for the third row. Then factorize 16 out of the matrix to obtain identity matrix. Therefore, we get matrix A, B is equals to 16 identity. Next, find A inverse. So now we are going to deduce A inverse from A, B equals to 16i that we get from the previous solution. So multiply on the left by A inverse both sides. Remember, A inverse times A is identity. And then uh, constant 16 can move in front. So A inverse times identity, we will get A inverse itself. Same goes to identity times matrix B. We will get matrix B itself. Then A inverse is equal to 1 over 16 times matrix B. Uh, next, substitute with matrix B into the equation. Then write as a single matrix by expanding constant 1 over 16 with the element in matrix B. Hence, solve the following equation. So, these are the three linear equations. In order to solve the system, or in other words, to find x, y, and z, first, rewrite the linear equation in matrix form. If you can see that the element of the first row are the coefficient of variable x, y, and z in the first equation. And then, the element of the second row are the coefficient in second equation and element of the third row are the coefficient of variable x, y, and z in the third equation. Then, write the variable matrix with the element x, y, and z equals to uh, non-metric with the element 7, 5, and 1 that we get from the constant value from the equations. If you can see that the element in this matrix is equals to matrix A, uh, you can refer to the question. Then label the matrix as matrix A. And this is variable matrix and label as X and equals to non matrix label as C. Why cannot label as matrix B? Because matrix B is already exist. You can refer to the question. To solve for x, y, and z, uh, deduce from a x equals to c by multiplying on the left by a inverse both side, then simplify. So a inverse times a is equals to identity matrix. Then identity matrix times x is equals to x itself. So x is equals to a inverse times matrix c. Remember, cannot use other methods such as a join method or Kramer's rule in order to solve the system because of hands. So, solve the system by finding uh, inverse matrix using property of A, B equals to K, I. Then, substitute with matrix A inverse and matrix C. Multiply both matrix to get this column matrix. Then, write the element out of matrix form. So, we get x, y, and z is equals to 1. Uh, let's continue with example 2. Okay, given that we have a matrix M with 1, 2, 0, 3, 2, 1, 2, 4, 1, and another matrix N, 2, 2, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 8, 0, 4. Okay, what is the equation? We want to find M, N, and hence determine M inverse. Alright, so first, this is our first instruction. And then, when you use uh, your first instruction, you must use it 
as we have the word hands to find our second instruction, which is M inverse. Okay, let's do this question. So, write down M N as the multiplication that we need to do. So, we put M matrices there. 3 to 1, 2, 4, 1, and then matrix N. 2, 2, negative 2, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 8, 0, 4. All right. So, let's do the multiplication. As you can see, uh, we will do this row with each partner for this column first. So, at the end, for that part, for the element, you will get 4. And then, the same row will do with another column. And you will get 0. And the same row, the first row, we do with our third column, with its partner, so you get 0. And the other corresponding values... Uh, like this. Okay, you may try this to do the multiplication to test again how your multiplication is good enough or it is not enough. All right, so it is one zero zero. I take out the number four. Okay, four I should put it as in the middle. Eh? All right, uh, one zero, so zero, zero, one. Okay, so here, what should we write it? We can see the pattern of this matrices. What is this? This is identity matrix. So we can conclude that MN is equal to 4. Alright. Uh, okay. And this is actually the answer for first um, for your first instruction, which is MN is equal to 4 with the identity matrix. Okay, next. Our second instruction, hence, determine M inverse. Okay, you must use what you have for your first step for you to find second step because we have the words hence there. Okay. As we can see there, we start with our MN equal to for identity matrix. So, you want to find M inverse. So, for here, we will use properties of ABKI where you need to put M inverse inside this equation. So, how to put your M inverse? You should put your M inverse um, near to your partner, which is your partner here is M. Okay, so I will put M inverse here. Sorry, let me change the pen. M inverse as you have M in the front. Okay, next, for the left-hand side, you will put M inverse first because you already put your M inverse in, in front there and end, end up with identity matrix, okay? The constant will always be in front, the 4 here, okay? We will put 4 in front. Let's continue our calculation. How about we look at this part? M inverse with matrix M, what should we get? Of course, you know, it is identity matrix. All right, so I N, so it is for M inverse identity. Okay, I N is N equal to, and how about this one? M inverse identity, you will get, Oh, okay. I should uh, simplify it from here. All right. You can uh, directly simplify it from here. Okay. You should. So, when you have M inverse identity, it should be M inverse. Remember, when a matrix meet with identity, you will get its matrix back. Okay. So, as we know that we want to find M inverse, so M inverse is equal to 4 here is just a number you can bring as 1 over 4 of N. All right, as we need to determine M inverse, so we need to calculate what is M inverse. So we have 1 over 4. Matrix N is already provided uh, in the equation, so we just write down the correct matrix, okay, not the, the wrong one. And you just multiply 1 over 4 with each elements of these matrices, all right. 1 over 4, negative 1 over 4, 1 over 4. You should try the multiplication again, okay. And you will get this as your final answer. Okay, that's it for question A. Okay, let's look at example 2 with the same uh, matrix M and matrix N. So we have another question, question B. A hogger sells three types of cake, namely cheese, chocolate, and strawberry cake. Alright, so we know that we have cakes, you have cheese, you have chocolate, and you have straw. Very right. I will write it a short form now. Right. 
And what do we have? We have Aleph here, page RM5. For one cheese and two chocolate. Next, we have uh, Basli. Right? We have Basli. With that page, RM10. For three cheese, two chocolate, and one strawberry. And then we have Carl here, page RM13, for two cheese. And you have four chocolate cake, and we have one strawberry. Okay, until here. Okay, I already take out the information from there. But the only thing as the price for each cheese, chocolate and strawberry cake respectively. From a system of linear equation okay here there is uh, something missing in my equation by denote, denoting x y z okay in your books we have that equation x y and z as the price for each cheese chocolate and strawberry that means that cheese we will we'll use x y z so here we have x y X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So now, the our first purpose is to write down the system linear of equation in form of a matrix equation. Okay, this is your first instruction. And hence, hence, by using A, find the price of each type of K. This is our second instruction. Okay, so here, we go for our first instruction. So you have to uh, write down what is X. X is the price of cheesecake okay why is the price of chocolate cake okay this one is very important for you to write down the definition okay you can't uh, directly write down x y z bef before you define it especially when the equation uh, with uh, that didn't mention what is the x y z right the price of strawberry cake now let's focus to write down the uh, the equation first from the information that you have here. So you have first information, second, and third. You have about Alif. Let's write down about Alif. Alif, we have one cheese. That means, okay, uh, look at here. Let me change one cheese. Oh, sorry, let's change the color to the brighter one. One cheese here. All right, one cheese and two chocolate. So you will write it as X plus 2 y equal to 5 okay uh, here we don't have z so we will uh, ignore that but in the matrices we will write as 0 so i can put as 0 z okay equal to 5 to simplify it you will have s no 0 okay x plus 2 y equal to 5 so this is alif okay next we have basli this is only for for you to see right? the connection that we are going to write here. So for Basli, we have 3x plus 2y plus z equal to 10. And lastly, you have car. Okay, how about car? You have 2x plus 4y plus z equal to 13. So here, we, already, we get the, I'm sorry, we get the, oh, 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 oh. I can uh, undo here. So please be patient with me. You have to write there. I want to highlight there. So this is our first equation, second equation, and third equation that you are going to use to form the system linear of equation in the form of matrix equation. Okay, so let's transform the information there. Okay, class, uh, there is uh, some correction here. Uh, okay, we can see that for Basli page RM1043 cheesecake. On this on the video before okay um, on screen before I put as X but it should be three X okay I'm sorry for that mistake so you have to put three X there so this is your equation system linear of equation so it's just equation for Aleph Basli and Carr okay for each K according to X Y Z so this is how you write the equation now we want to transform this into form of matrix equation so let's do that Okay, you will take out the coefficient, 
All right, we have 1, 3, 2. Where do I get that here? All right, the coefficient for x. And then I will take a coefficient of y. So you will have 2 to 4 and coefficient of z. All right, coefficient of z here, you don't uh, blue one. You don't have anything and coefficient that it is 0, 1, 1. Okay, so you have x, y, z there. So 5, 10, 13. Uh, that's how you transform the uh, equations to form of matrix equation. So what is mat this matrix? What is it? 1, 2, 0, 3, 2, 1, 2, 4, 1. As you can see, it's just the same as matrix given. So it is matrix M. And for this matrix, you will write it as X. Matrix X. And the other one is equal to matrix any matrix that you want to use name just don't use add don't use m don't use n so i choose b okay so now we will use uh we know that by properties of abki we know that you can get m inverse the with matrix b do the properties of abki that already we taught you before okay so equal to so let's calculate this m inverse we already get from uh part a Okay, so you have 1 over 2, 1 over 2, negative 1 over 2, 1 over 4, negative 1 over 4, 1 over 4, and you have a negative 2, 0, 1, and you have 5, 10, 13. So you will have 1, 2, 3 as your x, which is x is your y, z. Okay, uh, so don't stop there because you need to make the con con sorry conclusion at the back. So what do we have? The price of cheesecake because x is our cheesecake right is rm1 and the price of chocolate cake is rm2 and the price of strawberry cake is rm3 so that's it okay that's how we do this uh, question. And that's the end for our lecture, Matrices and Systems of Linear Equations. And guys, please look at uh, the exercises that we provide to you on your lecture books, exercise 4.4. Try to do it again and bye. Good luck. Okay. <laughs>